Hey, what's up guys? Bajira here. And uh, this is going to be a video about something I like to do in League. I don't know, not everybody likes to watch videos about League or play League, but uh, this is something I do like to do, so... I don't know, it's it's not the not super exciting or interesting, but uh, I didn't want to make a video about it, just because why not? I, I, I felt like it, and that's what I get to do with this YouTube channel. Sometimes I get to make videos about things that I think are neat, and so that's what I'm going to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a custom game. It's going to be Summoner's Rift 5v5. I'm going to fill the other team up with bots, and it's just going to be me on, on my own team, uh, trying to 1v5 or some bots. And the reason I do this, one, is because it's... It's fun for me. I, I just like, you know, <laughs> me against the world. You pick whatever champion you feel like picking and uh, seeing if you can uh, win against five bots. I mean, it's not the hardest thing in the world, but uh, I do think it, it's pretty interesting if you want to try out a new champion. You don't really know what uh, what they do. You get to learn their abilities, but it's also slightly challenging because if you if you die a couple times, you will lose. Like there's you, you can't really dial that much in this game because it becomes sort of like a time trial. A race against time for the bots to the, just passively get farmed enough and for the waves to passively push enough because you're only one person and uh, after a while the, the waves will beat down your base and it's going to be really hard for you to recover. So, of course what you want to try to do is uh, get first blood obviously and try to snowball off of that. But um, it is really important for you to for you to push against these bots because if you if you let them push on you and you just you know run around farming the lanes and killing them, uh, eventually you're like I said you're going to run out of time and they'll uh, push down on your base regardless of what, whatever you can do. I mean, I've, I've had games where I've like tried like three different builds before and the game's gone on 47 minutes and I've got 81 kills and uh, then the, you can't you can't stop all the super creeps and you just lose and it's a bummer, but hey, it's part of the fun. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm, gonna, I'm gonna picking a Scion just because why not. Uh, I'm gonna show you sort of how I like to do this with uh, melee bruisers. Because you know me, you know I'm a I'm a I'm a warrior in WoW, and my favorite thing to do in, in League of Legends is play AD carry, and I've and I've used this 1v5ing bots practice a lot with my AD carries, and I think it's helped me out quite a bit just in terms of my mechanics. I mean, I think normal games are good, but this is like a really low pressure situation. Like your mistakes really don't reflect on anybody else; doesn't affect anybody else. Um, Nobody's gonna give you a hard time for messing up for like, you know, doing shit like this. Like, nobody cares because it's just you messing around, killing bots, listening to music, whatever you want to do, and uh, practicing League of Legends and experimenting with builds and just messing around in a video game, which is something that I think is something that's important for me because I, a lot of times, you know, I'm always making videos, I'm always live streaming, and so sometimes it's nice to when a video's rendering just to chill and play some League, and this is what I do, so. But I still do want to share this with you because, hey, it's like, well, you know, what do you like to do for fun, I guess? Like, you know, if you're always streaming and making videos, which are fun things for me to do, you know, I, I pretty much wake up, edit. If I don't stream, then I'll do editing, go to the gym, come home, stream. So, and all those activities are really, really fun for me, but you know, that's not like chill time so much. This is something I do on my chill time, but it does still sort of translate into practice with League of Legends, which is a game I really enjoy, so. It's not definitely not hardcore practice, but for people who are like very, very first starting uh, League of Legends, very, like, you know, you, you have no idea what to do. I would recommend you start, like, a 5v5 game, just, even as custom games, like, you don't get the most experience for your summoner level, but, you know, you get to learn the game, and you get to practice against things that are gonna be really, really simple to fight against, like, right here, I don't have any farm, I'm not strong at all, but I can go, like, you know, 1v5 right here, pretty much. I do turn my little, my E off, so I don't kill myself, <laughs> but for, for people who are new at League, it doesn't really matter, like, you, you can run in here, have some fun, Feel like a badass. Learn, learn how to build certain characters so that it's effective, and uh, you know, get, get some practice without having to worry about other people calling you a noob. Which is, I think, that, that's, that's one of the biggest turnoffs to games like this. Is that you know, you play a game and you and you die, which is something that's going to happen when you're new, and people you know give you a super hard time for it. And it's unnecessary and it's not fun and it can turn you off the game. But you know, you know, if if you want to play against the bots and learn the game, that's something I, I would recommend. It's something that I did a lot. When I was just learning to play League, and it's something I still do just for fun. But now instead of you know 5v5, I do I do 1v5 because it makes it a little bit more interesting. Plus, I I really like the feeling of going 1v5 against <laughs> against uh, you know an entire team full of bots. Just because you know once you get once you get strong enough, you can do it. But at the same time, you can die against them. And I think I, I think I die once in this game, once or twice. I'm not sure. But regardless, sometimes you, they'll just they'll just be a little bit too much for you to handle. So you die. You're you're pissed. Go back to base, buy a bunch of items, and then wreak havoc on them. But uh, yeah, o overall, I'm tr I'm trying to think like what has helped me the most in terms of learning to play AD carry well is honestly like the the normal games are good, but I think that even this like learning how to kite five bots down a lane 
just orb walking, which is where you attack, and as soon as your attack animation goes off, or maybe even just halfway goes off, as soon as the attack anima as soon as the attack is actually in the air, um, I die here. It's very very sad. But as soon as your attack is in the air, you move backwards. So or you, so it's, it's like kiting him in a while. You I mean it's the same thing. You, you kiting him in league is the same thing as kiting him in a while. You know you're you know. Fire off an attack, walk back, fire off an attack, walk back, and that's called orb blocking. And that's something that's really, really important to be able to do as an AD carry, so you can, you know, because as an AD carry, you're going to deal a ton of damage from range, but you're also really, really squishy, so. And this is not the case with this character right here, because every time you get a kill with this character, when his axe is all lit up like that, uh, he gains health, so. Throughout the game, my health is just going to be increasing like crazy from leveling up. I don't really buy a lot of health items, but by killing a lot of these little creeps and a lot of those uh, the champions, I get a ton of health, so it's hard for the bots to kill me. And, and, and that's what I mean, like, it's just fun to, to experiment with stuff like this. Like, what happens if I played a game with Scion and just killed stuff all game? How much health would I have? And at the end of the game, I had like a thousand extra health or something like that, which is pretty funny. Uh, <laughs> These are bots though, and their their uh, their AI is kind of weird. Like if you, if they push a lane down all the way on one of the side lanes, and they try to run back, they will run back through the middle for some reason. So sometimes you can catch them and score a free kill. So right here, I'm gonna buy like one of my favorite items and something that I feel like is pretty essential for a uh, pretty essential for a uh, a bruiser melee attack damage dealer is the, the Ravenous Hydra because it just lets you cleave down lanes and when you get in these 1v5 team fights you can also cleave the players and it, you get a nice little nice little active ability that is a cleave that gives you life steal too so it's just a really fun item and this is the kind of thing this is why I like doing this because you can try out items like this and experiment with weird builds and you can do it in in a situation where like you know you don't have other players like raging at you for trying weird builds and then sometimes you find a builds that work and then you try them in normal games and you're like well they're like whoa what the hell where'd this thing come from you're like well it's the 1v5 of my bots man and so learn all my learn all my tricks but so <laughs> it gets to the point where you're a little bit too strong for anything to hit for any any bots to handle you but what can happen is the they will push lanes on you and if you and if you try to defend then you'll you'll just get behind but this, this is something that that's pretty important to learn um, about normal games too in League of Legends. If you only play defensive, if you only defend, uh, then it's going to be really easy for them to keep you in your base. So this, this is sort of like a situation where you're playing from behind. It's teaching you how to play from behind in League a little bit. I don't know. Might, be, might just be making some of this stuff up, but it's kind of stuff that you think about when you're doing just 1v5s versus bots. It's a, <laughs> it's, it's some time, it's some time to reflect upon your builds or reflect upon the, the, the game of League of Legends and just chill. And this, this is nice, because I used to, you know, I used to do BGs just to chill, BGs with friends just to chill, but now it's kind of like, I don't know, WoW is, it's it's always like a really high energy game for me, because there's always, like, it's it's all positive things, generally, I mean, some people would like to say mean things and troll, but usually it's people just being really, really nice and saying hello, and it's really, and it's cool, and I, and I appreciate all that, but it's just such a high energy sort of thing, and sometimes you just want to chill and be able to, you know, not necessarily interact with anybody and just learn about a game and play a game for fun and just mindlessly kill bots, which is sometimes a lot of what, what BGs turn into, just mindlessly running around and killing stuff, but it sucks because when, when I do BGs, people think I'm trying to like, trying to show show off or trying to prove something, and it's honestly me, I just like, BGs are what I want to do to chill, or at least what I used to be able to do to chill, and now it's like every time I do a BG, it's like I'm trying to, you know, trying to show how good I am, it's like, no man, I don't, don't do BGs to show how good I am, I don't play video games to show how good I am, I, I play for fun, and that's what the channel has always been, is it's always been like, you know, just trying to, I, I, if I do something cool in a game, or if I think something is neat in a game, then I make a video about it, and I share that with people who, who may be interested, and if they are interested, then they, they stick around and watch the videos, and if they're not, then they don't, and that's, that's just how it sort of goes, but somewhere along the lines, I mean, BGs to other people that I do became about me, like, impressing people or something, and I don't know, it's, it's odd, and it wasn't really my intention to talk about that during this video, but, I don't know, Video videos about me, you know, slaughtering bots can turn into any number of things, I suppose, and, I don't know, it's just something, that, something to think about, sometimes st stuff gets kind of weird for, for reasons we don't really understand, and, got to think about it. So, I don't know. I hope I hope that you guys when you when you're watching my videos understand that uh a lot pretty much everything I do is I mean like I'm trying to think of like arena is something I I, I do want to win at. I do want to be successful at, but I'm never really trying to trying to do anything for the purpose of like showing off. Like 
like the gym videos, I guess it could be some people could think I'm trying to show off. It's like, not really. It's like, I'm not, I'm not trying to like show off to, to make people think that like, oh, hey, look at me. I'm so badass. It's like, no, like, but if you do make progress, if you do cool stuff in, in a game or in real life and you want to share that with somebody, like you're going to. And I have a really amazing way of sharing my, my experiences in game and in real life with you guys through this YouTube thing. And it's incredible and I'm really appreciative for it, but I don't want to be, I don't want to be misconstrued. I don't want like, I'm trying to think of what, what exactly could have changed. Like maybe because the YouTube channel is growing, people think that, um, something has changed and honestly things haven't changed for me. I mean, I, I, I feel like, a, a, like a, a happier, better person than I was before, but I don't think like my approach to gaming is any different. I don't think my approach to my YouTube channel is all that much different other than, I mean, it, it, it does support me and Jenny and the kitties and every, you know, it's, it, it provides the, me with the things that I need and being able to do something I love and have that provide for me is incredible. But like, uh, my intention is still the same. My attitude about it is still the same. Like, I want to be able to share things like this with you. Like, I know, like, this is not, you know, the coolest thing in the world in terms of the gaming. Like, me running around killing bots is not the coolest thing in the world. I know, I, I understand that. But it is something that I think is fun. It's something, it is something that I spend, I have spent time doing. Hey, baby cat, she just jumped up here. It is something that I have spent time doing, so I thought I'd share it with you. But anyway, that game's over. I just I sort of edited the clips and I was going to talk over it for a while. Uh, started rambling on about random stuff, but uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to go to the gym and I'll see you guys tonight in the stream, hopefully. All right, dudes. Thanks for watching. Peace.